Today on American Jeeper, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a CB radio and antenna in your Jeep Wrangler JL. I'll also give you a couple of different mounting ideas, one of which is free. So some of you might be saying, American Jeeper, why would I want to install a CB? Isn't that some kind of old technology that truckers use? CBs are very common off-road because cell coverage is usually pretty intermittent and you want to be able to communicate not only with your group but with civilization in the event of an emergency. So let's get started. You want to obviously make sure that you have a good CB like this one from Cobra and an antenna like this from Firestick. And if you order online, which most of us do, uh, you're going to find that CBs come with kits, so you'll get uh, the antenna and then everything really that you need with it. Uh, you might order a bracket separately, or in this case, I actually uh, took some uh, scrap from my garage and fashioned a bracket uh, that fits to my Mopar tailgate reinforcement here, but you can find some different mounting points on the back of the Jeep. Uh, what we're looking at here is we've got a little uh, bit of a rubber seal here that I just drilled through to run the CB wire. Um, so it, the bracket just fits on there quickly uh, and then you can attach the antenna just like this. So if you make your own bracket you want to make sure none of the metal from the antenna or the line is touching the bracket itself. That'll interfere with the reception. There's some little plastic uh, isolating washers here on this. So let me show you now on the inside where you run the CB antenna wire, which should also come with a kit. So you're going to run it inside the tailgate here. I'll show you how to pop this open. Just snap it open. And you can see in there, ran the wire through that little vent and just kind of zip tied it along with the wiring that is for the brake light and the rear camera. And then when you're done, you can snap that back into place. Really simple. What I did here is actually just zip tied the CB antenna wire or the cable to this and just keeps it out of the way. Tucked it in here and ran along this weather stripping here. And then over here, let me open this up. You see how it's kind of just tucked away. And I used this seam on the carpet and ran just along here. There's a nice little gap where the wire fits. It's protected, keep it from getting nicked or smashed. Uh, you could run it under here. It's pretty tight. Um, I ran some other wiring for my lighting on my roof rack up through here, but uh, I find that this is a little bit better just running along this seam all the way up into the back seat, essentially. Okay, so it's gonna come out underneath the back seat. We'll take a look here. You can see that's a little bit exposed, but it's really pretty out of the way. And then we get right into this little plastic piece, which actually comes apart if we want it to. Just run it along that seam there, and I have it running out and keep it underneath the front seat here. Makes it really easy to access. Just keep it zip tied and out of the way. And then if you wanted, you could run it all the way, the rest of the way up through this trim. I opted to just keep it under the seat and uh, you'll see what I'm gonna do with the rest here in a second. Oh, and if you have a hard top, you're in luck because I'm gonna show you a free mounting point. So most CBs like this one have a bracket that comes with it that gives you a couple different mounting points. It's adjustable here on the side. Um, we're definitely going to use this bracket, so we want to leave this on here. Uh, here's your free mounting point. These little uh, brackets here, just the way they're shaped, this slides right on. It takes a little bit to get it on there, but this slides right on and stays pretty snug. I'll show you how to snug this up in just a second. So instead of getting a bar that's there permanently, I run CB only when I'm going off-road. I don't want it in the Jeep. Otherwise, and same with the antenna, it's too tall to get inside of my garage. Um, so just tuck the wire back like that, and that's pretty firm on there. So just make sure uh, 
and plug in that back piece that's under the seat and you run the power and after that you're pretty much good to go. Once you get this plugged in, start the Jeep up, make sure it works. reach over and tune. Turn the dial to whatever channel you want. And of course I still need to plug the antenna in from the back, but we don't need to do that this second. Things on there really snug. You want to hang your mic, uh, instead of getting bracket for that, just use your rear view mirror. All the wires are nice and tucked out of the way. And then when you're done for the day, you just unplug a couple of things. Pull it off, and you're good to go. Oh, and of course, unscrew your antenna so you can get back in your garage. And then that's a little exposed, so you want to use some electrical tape here to cover this up. I just keep it uh, out of the elements so rain and that dirt doesn't get in there. So just use a little electrical tape, seal that up. Can't hardly see it, don't know it's there. And then you just pull it off the next time you're going to use it. So some of you may want a little bit more permanent solution or just a different solution to mount your CB. Here's another one. This is a CB bar that my dad made for our JKs. Works really well, fits across the uh, windshield and Velcros to the sport bar. Just another option for you that you can do it if you're a DIY type of person uh, or you can find different various ways to mount uh, CB. So there's tons of different ways to do it. Just depends on uh, whether you're gonna keep it permanent or just to use it when you're wheeling. It's really up to you. One last thing I didn't mention also is you, for your CB, you may need to purchase or get a hold of an SWR meter to tune it. Make sure it's tuned appropriately so it works well. So um, that's one other piece I uh, wanted to mention there for you uh, to make sure you're aware of if this is your first time with a CB. So there you have it, the easy way of installing a CB radio and antenna in your Jeep Wrangler JL. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the American Jeeper channel to stay up on all things Jeep Wrangler JL, including more installation videos, how-tos, product reviews, and off-roading trips. Thank you for watching and see you on the trails.